Hi, I'm Sug. And I'm Dan. This is the Demystified Zone. Talking about the hottest thing in Korea. North BTS. Korea. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what we were about here. Bangtan boys. Oh, uh, yeah. Dan, I have a question for you. Yes. Have you ever shamelessly exploited your children for your own gain? <laughs> uh, whoa! I I almost choked on my water there. <laughs> oh. We're coming in hot with the questions today. Uh, shamelessly exploited my children. Um, have have I done that? I I feel like you know. Um, I I pull when I'm like trying to get a. A discount or a return <laughs> that's way past the. Uh, the thing. I was I expecting always... a no, a simple no to this question. <laughs> I didn't think that. you'd actually have. Okay, let's get into it. Discount? What kind of discounts? You getting like kid discounts for yourself? Is that what's happening? No, no. Or do you like do the thing where like it's just like kids under four can eat free, and you just say, "Oh my, don't talk, Jack. You don't act like you don't know how to talk." <laughs> no, 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 not that. Okay. It's often, okay, when I fly to Asia, which I do a lot, I work for a nonprofit, which doesn't cover business class, <laughs> right? <laughs> so very often- Our donations are going to spike right now because you're going to feel so bad. Like, we yeah, we a sob story. We can to business yeah, class. Business class. And it's a, it's a 14-hour flight, and I have sciatica. <laughs> Okay. okay, anyway. Chill, back to your children. <laughs> <laughs> so, Korean Air, which I always fly to Korea, um, I, I'm always at the <laughs> check-in. I'm always like, look, I've had a long week with my kids. I, you know, and... In Korean? No, no, no. They're, they're all Is... English-speaking English in Chicago from O'Hare. And I'm like... <laughs> I, I work for this nonprofit. I pull that card too. <laughs> oh my gosh! I work this is for the this shameless nonprofit. begging for business class for business class. Yeah, for I work upgrade. for a nonprofit. I, you know, just helping North worked? Koreans. Sometimes it works. I but would say is it the kid card or is it the nonprofit card? I throw kidding. it all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what works. <laughs> I just throw it all you at just the throw problem. everything. <laughs> I just You're like my my wife just yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> my dog died. <laughs> Things are just not going well. My my child is a yeah, child. Anything for a lay down seat. I don't lie. <laughs> I never lie. I just <laughs> well, throw the good. truth out there. It's good, right? I I would never wear like a U.S. military uniform. <laughs> and oh my God, what? <laughs> Yeah, stolen wow. valor they call it, but um, now we I would never do that. But uh, I I do try so to play have, all my cards. Yeah, you have exploited your children for your own gain. Oh, oh, yeah. The answer yeah. is yes. It's so okay. that I can be more focused when I'm doing the work of crossing <laughs> borders out there, <laughs> when I can lay flat on my flight. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man, your kids are gonna hear this. They're gonna know. <laughs> They're going to they know are. of your, your wheelings and dealings. Oh. Well, okay, so <laughs> I thought I was going to get a no on that question, but <laughs> apparently you shamelessly exploit your children, so that's cool. Sometimes, yeah. Um, I want to talk to you about this Crossing Borders. Uh, well, it was a Crossing Borders blog article. Yeah. And then uh, obviously NK News covered it as well. Um, it's this... North Korean vloggers launching like North Korean influencer propaganda, which is like kind of bizarre when I say that. But l- let me let me kind of paint the picture for our listeners here. Okay, so the, if you go to Crossing Borders, uh, nk.org, <coughs> you go to the blog section, you you'll see. Um, in July 15th, we've got this article that says North Korea gets created with state propaganda. And this article just kind of highlights how North Korea is making this push in their propaganda department to modernize, make themselves cool, relevant, 
all things that in the past we have talked about, you know what? This is a good step, actually. I'm saying this is a good step for North Korea because we've asked them <laughs> to be more culturally Oh, they're relevant. listening. They're listening to us. It's working. <laughs> North Korea, just give it, let us give you some pointers, though. Okay, yeah. so um, – uh, again, the the highlight here for our listeners is that they're doing this, but in true North Korean fashion, it's all a fake, and it's exploiting their own oh, children you don't know that. in the worst. That's true. I'm sorry. Uh, speculatively, it is a fake. Yes, yes. Um, it's widely considered a fake. Widely considered. Yes. Yeah. I. Yes. I, I'm. I'm on the. I don't know yet. I haven't made it come to the decision oh. whether Ooh. it's fake or not. Okay. No. I, I have really. But <laughs> I haven't said it out loud. <laughs> um, so I wanted to. Okay, first of all, I want to share with you song A. So song A is a I, I think it's young songa. Songa <laughs> shows you how Korean I am <laughs> and how I don't know how to pronounce anything Korean. I read yeah. it as every other American is going to read it. Song A. Yeah. Okay, Korea, North Korea, tip number one. That's how we're going to read that, okay? So <laughs> let me share this clip real quick. All right, so this is uh, Songa or Sari Volin. Uh, uh, like, this is the person they made up. All right, so if you can see here, it's like um, her first... I'm just going to play. It's really quick. I'm not going to play the whole thing. This is Songa's debut video this is a a young woman a very young woman who i'd say she's like 10 well she's saying she's 11 oh okay so you're pretty close she's speaking with this british accent first of all um and right here she's talking about how there's all these amazing amusement parks in north korea and how awesome north korea's parks are so she's saying you may wonder how i can speak english fluently and her mom did all the work. Her mom taught her English. Yep. 50 English words. Okay. And she's struggling through her script. Okay. So which is really obvious. She's she's reading from a, a script. And this has been rehearsed. Yeah. Okay. And then she says her favorite book is Harry Potter. Um, and she challenges people to Harry Potter knowledge, which I have a problem oh. with. I'm going to get into that later. Yeah. All right. So check this video out. This is one. This one actually got shut down, this channel. So oh, she really? has a couple others. Uh, supposedly got shut down. Or they stopped. I think it got shut down. Huh. Um, but they don't have any more videos. Yeah. They only have the three, if you can see here. Yeah. All right. If you go to, uh, and I'm not going to show these. I'm just going to show listeners so they can go to themselves. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. That's the same one. This is what happens if we don't have Mike. Where are you, Mike? <laughs> we need Love you. Love you, man. Okay. So there's this is called New DPRK. This is like a more official uh, North Korean kind of um, propaganda influencer site. And here we go. We got another kid here uh, who's actually Chinese, I believe, living in Pyongyang, which is kind of weird to me that they would highlight a Chinese person. Or she, I don't know. I don't, I, maybe I think, I'm misunderstanding. I think she's no. I think she's a North Korean girl who, like Songa, knows how to speak a foreign language, and that language happens to be Mandarin. But her name was very Chinese, though, or Mandarin sounding. I see. Did I you see, see that? Yeah, 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 it was yeah. like Z Lee Z Swen's vlog. Do you see that? Yeah, that's a very Chinese name. So I, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. But this, if you look at new DPRK, you guys can check this out. There's a ton of videos here highlighting children, uh, going to the supermarket. It's just really weird. Like the <laughs> North Korean influencers are just basically um, showing how North Korea is a very normal place. Um, yes. So, yeah. Yes. There's that. Now... <laughs> first question i wrote here is why 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 these why Oof. i don't know man it's it's pretty bizarre okay num- I, number one it, it's obvious that they're trying to get people to visit not not very many american people visit 
for obvious reasons, because a lot of Americans have been historically detained in the country, et cetera. Sure. But maybe people from, you know, let's say South Africa would be a little bit more open because South Africa isn't necessarily an enemy of North Korea and blah, blah, blah. So I, I think- Okay, I so, think, so uh-huh. that was yeah. my next question. Like, is there tourism? Is yes. there a tourism market yes. in North Korea? And we're like, is it only in the capital? Like, are they only allowed to go there? Like, what, what's the deal with that? It's, it's predominantly uh, in the capital city. Yeah. Okay. And, and it just looks like um, from, from all accounts, it looks like the Truman Show where, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where North Koreans are placed, quote unquote, uh, in very idyllic settings, looking happy or busy or whatever they, the setting dictates, right? Um, for example, uh, Jean Lee, uh, she's a journalist uh, for the AP. Um, uh, and she was allowed in Pyongyang for, I think, two years with... Uh, photographer David Guttenfelder and hmm. he they they described this right they went to a park on a Sunday and they were just kind of being tourists and walking around and then they got to their hotel room and she writes about this and she says to David was that real hmm. right like did, were we walking basically in the tr- Truman Show? She didn't make that reference, but yeah, she yeah, basically yeah. thought that. And so these tours are very highly manicured. You you go where the person tells you to go. It, it's like a Legend of Zelda, you know, <laughs> almost, hmm. where you're walking in an open world, but it's sort of being guided by whoever. Yeah. By game designers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Korean game designers, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> it's just, I guess that's the most convenient. It, it it looks like a a lot of these videos. If you go to this page, are like like you said, promoting. I would say lifestyle, North Korean yeah. lifestyle, like what it's like to live in Pyongyang. First couple of things you notice for sure. It, one, it's set up. Like you just saw that video. It looks so set up. Um, as a filmmaker, it's I would say poorly produced, but. Not what, bad. What was better, bad. that or the launch video? You know, these are actually better. That launch video is, <laughs> I mean, launch video is a launch video, but that that's more of a film. We're talking yeah, about see, like influencer vlog, pieces yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and like, there's just, the, these are just so, like, there's one of a woman eating like fried chicken and a hamburger for like five minutes. Um, there's there are, one of, there like, are ham- someone hamburger going, shops in Pyongyang. Yeah. And like it, it's it's just like bizarre, and don't get me wrong, influencer even American influencer they're totally set up <laughs> like staged and, and all that too <laughs> like so true. they got that part yeah. right. Um, Except the but, brand that these people are promoting is North Korea instead yeah. of like Revlon or whatever yeah. or themselves. <laughs> it's not even the themselves in the video. <laughs> it's like they they are the human inhabitation of North Korea of a yes. country. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it, again, it goes back to the little propaganda thing of North Korea of like, we're fine or we're normal. Maybe, maybe that's yeah. the, maybe that's more of the message. We're normal and, and we're fine. Um, so one of these kids, actually that, uh, song, song, oh, uh-huh. song, one of her videos was like mm-hmm. one of the, I think it was the second one on there. Worst produced one for sure of the three of like how she got sick. And the military showed up to her door to administer medicine for her. Yeah. And these military actors with the word, like, they just literally got the two military dudes outside their house to come in. These guys are terrible. You guys should check it out. Maybe um, they were from the launch video in the, the control booth. <laughs> no, they're too young. <laughs> they're too young. That launch video was like the cream old, of the, the crop, old, yeah, the yeah, old yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's just so bizarre, like. Like, it's clearly so script. She's just talking in this fake voice, which I think, like, I would have to assume anyone who's ever seen videos, any videos, I'm not saying just American video, or like, just you can tell that this is so staged. Like, we don't believe yeah. anything she's saying and how nice these Korean soldiers who are not acting because they 
the can, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's bizarre. And yeah, it's it is bizarre. Uh, that video is pretty frightening. The implications, because from all the information that I'm getting, things are not okay with COVID in North Korea. So mm. for them to sort of yeah. put on like they are, oh, it it's so yucky to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, this goes back to shame, chengpi, mm. as we call it in Korean, right? Mm -hmm. It goes back to shame because, okay, so in May, I was in South Korea when North Korea sort of announced that they were having problems with COVID, right? Yeah. And then, um, you know, we're just gathering information from refugees who have contact inside North Korea. Everyone was saying it's just so much worse than the country was letting on. Yeah. But, yeah. but the reason why I bring this up is two weeks later, North Korea says, hey, guys, we kicked it. <laughs> we beat COVID. Yeah. And yeah we're yeah, okay. I remember that. Yeah. So... I Go think back also to they, your lives. It, yeah, didn't fine. they release uh, a public um, service announcement about like eating two meals a day at around that time too? But like, is that is that the same no, campaign? No, no, that, that's is that, that was older? In the nineties, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my bad. I thought they had another one like that where they were telling people. I could be wrong. Okay, I'm mixing up my headlines here. <laughs> Either way, health, food. It's all like the same things in these videos. Mm -hmm. It's like health, food, daily life. Yeah. Which is also like a weird thing to like. Only North Korea people, people in North Korea, can advertise that because it is super, like no one in the world knows what its daily life's like. So yeah. you know, applaud them for seeing the market demand there <laughs> of like wanting to see videos <laughs> of what is it like in North Korea. Um, but it's it, it's bizarre. There's like a shooting range thing here, not with guns, with bow and arrows, which mm -hmm. we have. You know, we got like shoot archery range and stuff like that. Yeah, but like. Man, um, yeah, it's uh, it does beg the question because it does seem like okay, is is North Korea's travel industry that big and that important? I I don't think it is. Yeah. So it is. It does beg the question: like, is this sort of PR? And what 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 are they trying to get at? That that they're normal. That it's okay there. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the messaging is, and that unknown is sort of disturbing to me for some reason. Yeah. Do, yeah. Does it for you, Suggy? Was it like, um, was it a little disturbing for you? For sure, hundred percent was. Well, <laughs> I think I was. I was like two sides to this coin for me. One on the positive here, pros and cons. Pros and cons. Oh. oh pros i'm like hey good job north korea you're like you're trying to be culturally <laughs> you're trying to share yeah, I, I love true. it i love okay. that you're trying to share yeah. what's going on uh in your country you're trying to do it in a relevant way of like yeah. social media youtube um you're, you're you're like doing different topics from like daily life to children to food to all these things like i'm like hey Thank you. Thank you for trying mm. and opening uh, the doors to your cultural experience so that the world can see. Yeah. Cons. Why did you do it like that? <laughs> 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 like, like, you're lying to me, North Korea. I know you're lying. Everyone knows you're lying. Like, that, you just yeah. like... You just lied, and we can tell you're lying. And it's, you know what? It's not even like a good lie. And I want to believe, like, I, I was like watching these videos thinking, like, trying to, like, not just like pick apart, like, oh, that looks so set up, or like, that looks scripted. Like, I'm not, I was trying to watch it with like a very open mind and being like, yeah. okay, I want to believe this woman. You know, get in, you know, fall in love with the characters and be like, okay, I want to believe this one. But the, it doesn't matter. Every video, it, yeah. you cannot. It's so, it's so cold. And that's what made it disturbing. It's like so every person is very cold because they're like script reading this thing. You can tell they've rehearsed it. Yeah. Like there are no other people around either, either like in any of these shots. Mm. Um, like it's like they're alone in the supermarket like by sterile, themselves. Yeah. yeah. And it's like kind of creepy. Yeah. Um, and then like the feeling I got was like, 
you ever like see you know like really bad chinese ripoffs of like american products like mikey and like pama which were like nike and puma and like yeah just like terrible ripoffs like not even close or like the jump man who's like dancing instead of dunking (laughs) like (laughs) just like not even attempting to be close to the original and it's i felt i felt like this is just like a cheap cheap really bad ripoff of trying to like do a good thing which is like promote north korean cultural cultural, you know yeah but they just like and then that's what made me sad to serve like that it was so bad meaning like they couldn't even get close yeah and so their intent was so obvious you know yeah my so that that's very interesting um so for me it was different it hit different it for me it kind of reminds me of you know like have you ever seen like a maybe horror movie or just a scary scene in a movie where something horrific is happening on the camera but they have like really happy music playing in <laughs> yeah. in the background like the beach boys or something yeah like, yeah yeah come yeah. on get happy and then like it's yeah, yeah. like a bloodbath or something yes that's kind of because i know what's going on beneath the surface right they're yeah. like putting a happy face on something but there is there is utter chaos destruction happening just underneath and you can't really hide that from me you know yeah yeah no it, that's why it felt like so because when i saw the article i sent it to you i'm like oh my gosh this is nuts yeah and that's how i was feeling it was <laughs> it was you know it's we've seen it too on social media right it's <laughs> It harkens back to the worst of American social media because yeah, we yeah. know people. I'm not on social media anymore, but while I was on it, we know people who whose lives were not great, whose lives were kind of falling apart, but they had social media pictures of them like traveling or whatever. Sure, and sure. it's when you think about when you know what's going on in their real lives and then you see the disconnect with their social media that's what it's really disturbing even in that case even the the american person whose life isn't that good yeah um it's it's disturbing as well but north korea is like the infinite example of that <laughs> <laughs> well again i applaud them for trying <laughs> and trying yeah, to yeah. to mimic the uh, sadness of even um, American social media um, <laughs> fakes. Well, they got you know, that like, right. Fa- they, they got, got it right. They got they the disconnect it. right. They nailed sure. it. Like you know, <laughs> showing how awesome their lives are. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, and 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 influencing. But yeah, and and I guess I that that was brings me back to the why question of like, I understand why you know. Is it the same? Like, I understand why a a sad person might want to prop themselves up on social media and it just makes them feel good. Sure, like, good. Uh, But North Korea as a country, this is like an organized effort from what some of these articles are saying. Again, this is like a department of of a government arm doing this or at least um, funding it so that it can be done. So... I just, you know, again, is the why, and maybe it's the normalcy, like you're saying. Maybe it is tourism, it, but I, 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 think I feel like it's, it's something shame. deeper. I think it's shame. Really? I think Talk it's... Talk about that. No, like, it's like you want to like, put on the best possible face, you know? To what end, though? To what end? Just to keep people that, off That is back? the end. That Okay. It, for Koreans and for people in these types of cultures... That is the end, to put sure. on a good face, to not have to be shameful on the world stage, to, you know, yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, they, they're they sick of people saying, like, hey, you know, North Korea is starving, blah, 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 right? Like, yeah. they're, they're sick of people saying, so they're like, you know what, I want to put out something that 
indicates the opposite of that. Yeah. Right. Um, but it it does like <laughs> it makes it very confusing to the untrained, right? It makes it very very confusing because. Okay, so with the pandemic well, in there, okay, go ahead. Let sorry. me talk about. Let me ask yeah, yeah. about that. So, okay. let's go back to that question. You know, at the top, I said, I, you know, is this fake? I kind of made this joke that it's one hundred percent fake. But what I know, we can't know for sure. How much of this could be, and who's living this lifestyle in North Korea? Like, even if there's a small mm. percentage, because I do know that there's this like government class. And society yes. in North Korea that does live fairly well, yeah, from North Korean standards, and maybe it's, it's, it's Kim Jong Un's power base. Yeah, so like, yeah. is there a percentage of this that is true that people are living like this, yeah. or is it? What is it? What was the percentage you think? I've heard like a couple hundred families. That's it. Yeah, hundred. <laughs> they are like the billionaire class of wow. America. Yeah, so. There is no middle class at all that's living this kind of normal looking North Korean lifestyle of going to the grocery store, eating out with burgers, kids having piano recitals. I I don't know. You know, most of the people that I meet are not from Pyongyang because those people aren't fleeing, right? Uh, So, yeah, I don't know. Just from the things that I've heard, yes, there is not a middle class in North Korea. And and that's like the big mystery, right? Because even like you said, that reporter went and she felt like everything was curated yeah. for their eye, like literally curated for what they could see, not yes. see. Are people actually living that? Or are they like acting for that day? Like, did they, did they have people like walk around in markets, like for when I, tourists come or visitors come? If I had to speculate, yeah, I don't know. No one knows. Another story from the 90s, North Korea, there, right before the, the famine or right in the beginning of the famine, they told the world, uh, I think we have a problem here, right? And then the UN said, oh, let us send in our inspectors. Let's survey the damage. And they're like, oh, it's not a good time. They didn't want to. Sure. Right? And so finally, these inspectors came in. And it, it was two years later, <laughs> two years during this is crazy famine, and the inspectors came in and they were just showing the good stuff again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's this, like, um, you know, Koreans have this thing called nunchi, right? Uh-huh. They want you to read between the lines. Like, they want you to know, hey, I'm telling you I have a problem, but help me to preserve my pride and not spell it out, right? Mm. You come over, I'm going to still, I'm. you come over and you know that I have like a financial problem, but I'm going to give you the best steak and lobster dinner. But yeah, read yeah, between yeah. the lines, okay? Let me preserve some of my pride. I think that is sort of maybe what's happening here. But because I'm Korean American, there's gradients of this, right? Like, yeah, yeah, right. Like for our parents' generation, or people who are living in Korea or in uh, these types of cultures, it might be much clearer. But for us, we've seen like just the outside of it, even even for yeah, Korean Americans. And it comes back to collectivism, right? Like the culture of collectivism is the mm. greater good is the whole, not the individual. And if the whole, especially your country, your nation, is in such dumps it's like such, no one it's such that would destroy an entire nation's like morale so they have to keep up the image right they have to keep up the the lie to make sure even convincing maybe even themselves maybe they're even like they're not gaslighting everyone else but themselves about like what is reality and what's really happening which is really yeah, sad and i'm and i'm sure um you know, they don't have to tell their people, like, hey, can you do this? Can you wink, wink? No. Yeah. I think their countrymen are are all saying it's important for us to put on a good face for the world. Yeah. Right? To yeah. give people the impression that we're doing. This. I don't think anyone who is in on this thinks, 
like, oh my gosh, I'm just perpetuating this lie and I feel yes, terrible. Yes. I think they think they're doing a good thing. Yeah, yeah. And just you know? for our listeners out there who don't understand as much about like East Asian culture, like it's not just North Korea. South Korea does this. China does this. Like an exam- great example is the Beijing yeah. Olympics of like putting on that massive opening ceremony show during oh, all the news cycles of like how much, you know, there was political unrest. Obviously, yes. that was happening and all of that, right? Like, so a lot of Asian countries do right. this. Um, and, and the people from the outside are like, how could they put on yeah. such a show when there's so much suffering? But that's not, that's not the culture. The rationale is, okay, we know that you guys know that we got problems, but yeah. let us save some dignity here, right? Let yeah. us, right? They're yeah, not yeah. dumb. They know yeah, yeah. that we know, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, in, in the spirit of that, Dan, okay, <laughs> as always, I'm out here. I am here to help North Korea do the oh, thing better. Right. Okay. I, I want to see them. You know what? Good step, North Korea. Way to be influencers okay. of yourselves right. uh, and hopefully the rest of the world. We want to improve your influencing game today. So here are our tips to you. Dan doesn't know yet, but he's going to help right now. Okay. <laughs> we, All right. We got four yeah, categories you need to like focus in on, but we're going to help you by not making such terrible videos. By the way, I do take offense that you had this poor girl tell us that she has all the Harry Potter knowledge in the world. You cannot just say something like that and not be true. <laughs> okay. If you have Harry Potter knowledge, it must be true <laughs> or you don't have it. Okay. I love Harry Potter. Yeah. He's, he's all right. serious about this. Guys. Okay. So number one, food. North yeah. Korea, you have great cuisine. The world needs to know. All right. So you, you do. You don't need to highlight the burgers. Your burger looks terrible in this video. <laughs> highlight your food, please. Highlight the cold noodle yeah. soup, naengmyeon, which the world will come to love. America oh. is having the taste for Korean food. Right now is the time to highlight. Maybe some North Korean panchan. I don't know. I only know naengmyeon. Actually, is there any other foods that you know that are like strictly North Korean? Uh, they have this Korea? dish called onmyeon. It's okay. uh, noodles that's made out of corn. Okay. Oh, so good. I'm so assuming good. the panchan's a little bit different too. Yeah, everything's a little bit different. Yeah. The refugees, okay. the refugees that um, make it to South Korea, they often complain about just the little variations of sure. Yeah. How they don't like it. North Korea, here you go. Food. That's number yeah. one. Okay, but here's the not to do list. Okay, do not like try to sell us these nasty looking hamburgers and fried chicken. We invented that stuff. Don't yeah. do stuff that we invented. Okay, <laughs> we don't want to know that you're eating Western stuff. I don't want to see some like fake unicorn meat burger out there. Just stick with what you know, what you do best. Okay, that's my tip. Yeah. Number two, let's stick to singing. Let's just stick to singing. I, I know that we did a thing on the dancing. You don't like, you don't like the capitalist dance move. So let's stick no. to the singing. You guys like singing. You guys yeah. got one hit song <laughs> that's been around for decades. Maybe it's yeah. time for another. Yeah, I don't know. Just saying. You could do some kind of Korean Idol type of challenge. Who knows? Ooh. Yeah, you know the great leader could be on one of those. Could big be the chairs. judge. And he swivels around and he's like. I like that voice, <laughs> you know? He could be Simon. He's Simon, exactly. Yeah. KJU, opportunity to be on TV here yeah. or on the internet, just saying. Yeah. But again, let me just give you some tips. Please don't kill any of the contestants. Don't put them into jails <laughs> or labor camps. If they lose, just say, I didn't like it. Okay, yeah. I didn't like it. Uh-huh. All right? You know, you know, temper your your expectations here. Make yes. make it, you know, little pat and 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 give us the North Korean tunes. I want to hear the North Korean songs. There's more than Pangap Samnida and Pangap Samnida, <laughs> the one song that y'all have. There's yeah. more out there. I know there is definitely. Okay, number three, travel mm. blog. Can't go wrong with travel show. There's so much in North Korea the world has not seen, and an, a lot of it, from what I understand, is very like untouched too. Mm-hmm. My, is that correct? That assumption? Definitely. I mean, Anthony Bourdain was dying before he passed. He said he was dying to get into North Korea. Mm. 
I mean, you really wanted to. Yeah, and I, I think I mean Korea is a beautiful country. South Korea is a beautiful country too. Um, but like, just you know, you go to any peninsula like that, like Italy, the north and south are so different. Yeah, the topography, the environment, ecosystem, very different. And I think North Korea, that's a winner right there. Let's do a travel okay. blog vlog. Definitely, and I think just from my experience traveling into China, yeah, and how welcoming the North Korean people were to me in China, okay, and how still so proud they were and longing for their home country to 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 seriously not have a show that was so manicured and so. So PR'd up the wazoo. Yes, but yes. Just let their people be themselves. I've met them. They're it's they're so wonderful to just they are. to just but unvarnish Dan, on, all of that. Hold on though, Dan. Hold okay, on. Okay. We just talked about their whole pride thing, and clearly they don't take pride <laughs> in their people and the thing. So That's I'm gonna the give thing. them a it's baby. Crazy. I'm gonna give them a baby step. I'm gonna give them a baby step. Hopefully they can get there, okay. and they'll just unashamedly show all their people at all times here's what i'm going to say here's the compromise right now here's the baby step north korea all right you take us to your remote parts of your country the mm -hmm. beautiful scenes all right or yeah. you, you don't have to show us the starvation and the, and the villages that are really struggling i understand you don't want to show that to the world we'd love yeah. to see those people maybe in a future episode just start off with landscape animals Animals yeah. are happy and friendly. What kind of crazy animals? Not unicorns. You don't got don't bring out a fake unicorn. <laughs> Please don't do that. Just show us the normal yeah. animals that are there. Let's we'll start with animals. And then if we can keep the guys in uniform out of there. Keep the missiles, all that crap out of there too. We don't want to see yeah. the missiles in the middle of your jungle. Just I think natural you, people. No, honestly, Sagi, I I think that is wonderful advice. Just let the people's hospitality show. I'm I mean, half joking. I'm only half joking. I'm when not joking at all. I, I think okay. they should do something like that. Then I'm not either. So, <laughs> All right. Last but not least, okay? This is my reach out to the North Korean problem because I just know – I just mentioned you know, military is just like not good to see on, on the travel blog. But since you like showcasing your big guns <laughs> – why not? Let's let's do it right. Let's do the gun show. <laughs> do a gun show, North Korea. Yeah. You know how many followers there are of people just shooting off guns in America? There's oh, so yeah, many of those, true. okay? You've got the biggest guns. You're shooting off missiles. No one got missiles yeah. here. Shooting yeah. Shoot them off. Just don't aim them at anybody, please. Don't aim them straight up in the air or like into the a lake or something, all right? <laughs> but you can show off all your weaponry. People will watch that. People, People love watching stuff that's like that. That's true. Oh my god! Just show it off. Just don't idea. do it in such like a you know aggro you know aggressive way towards <laughs> like another country. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Produce it in a way where you show your guns, shoot them off, shoot your missiles, do all that fun stuff. Just uh, you know make it fun to watch. You know, and we'll be like, hey, cool, you got guns. You know what would be fun, man? I I'm so like uh, if we're done with the gun thing. Yeah, go on. Um, you know, like uh, undercover boss, right? Because there, honestly, there are <laughs> with KJU with the great there are leader? so many like loyal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah Dress yeah. him up, whatever, right? Yo, so that's gonna be hard to hide that him. dude. He's like the biggest dude <laughs> in the entire country. <laughs> somehow There's make only that one happen. dude. That somehow size. finesse that. I don't. I don't know how, but somehow finesse that. And then, and then, or it's like hidden cameras or something, right? But because there are so many like loyal, dutiful citizens, right? Yeah, yeah. And, who are and show their human side, you know? Oh. Don't show them like bowing down to the the statues of no. Just like show their normal life, and then show Kim Jong Un surprising them and thanking them and saying, you know, great Didn't job. Didn't he have one of those though? Didn't he do that? Yeah, he kind did. Of? He did with like the, the news the, reporter. The news reporter who does yeah. the. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did that That's a good one. show, too. Yeah. All right, North Korea, you got five. You got five <laughs> solid influencing or like social media short video ideas. Heartwarming, North Korea. Heartwarming. Go for heartwarming. Okay, and I'm only going to give this to you because I care. You can do a Harry Potter one, all right? Just do like a <laughs> trivia off. 
Train your children. Let them read the books, please. That'll win too. Harry Potter sells. You know, yeah. Whatever your opinion it is, on it uh, is. It is regardless of culture. So North Korea, I hope you're hearing this. Um, and you and I see some updates to the new DPRK YouTube channel. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. The mission of Crossing Borders is to show the compassion of Christ to North Korean refugees and their children. If you want to give, get involved, or just learn more, check out our website at crossingbordersnk.org.